Hello guys and welcome back and in this video we're going to start talking about compression. Uh, I'm going to try to keep the videos down uh, about half the time that they have been just simply because it takes forever to get them up on YouTube. So 7.12, so I'm going to try to make it about 10 minutes long, so about 7.22 I'm going to try to cut it off. Uh, so compression, well let's, uh, let me open up draft site again and get to my layout and we'll kind of recap where we left off. Okay, so we, we were able to get the boundaries of our room uh, uh, drafted and I went ahead and added a couple more things like the, I went ahead and added the rest of the, the, uh, the wall joist uh, or the studs in the wall and then I added the door over here which that's not even going to come into play unless I decide that I've thought of in the past I've thought about putting in some type of staging yard that would extend out over this landing right here or a fiddle yard I mean so I don't know uh, <laughs> you know how it is you kind of wishful thinking sometimes but uh, so yeah we figured out I drew this closed polyline and um, I came up with a perimeter of 51.23 feet so I took that number and I uh, calculator here 51.23 times 87 so I, f I figured out that I'm modeling an HO scale, so that means that this 51 uh, foot length, you know, polygon here, in in, in actual scale feet would be 4,457. And again, I just took this number here and multiplied it times 87, which that reminds me. So I looked this up in case you guys, some of you guys aren't are new to this and you're not working on uh, HO scale, you know, maybe you're doing N scale. Well, you'd multiply that 5123 times 160. Mine's actually 87.1, but 87 for all practical purposes. You know, obviously the bigger the scale, the smaller the number. So. Uh, so yeah, I can model 4,457 uh, feet, and if I want to convert that into miles, that's not quite a mile, so if, if I want to convert that into miles, I would take that number and divide it by 5,280 because that's how many feet are in a mile, and that gave me about 8 tenths of a mile. Okay, so I can model about 8 tenths of a mile uh, using HO scale. So if we come over here and open up Google, Google Earth, and I'm going to type in my location here. Okay. So, yeah, what's different from this video and the last one was I've got the uh, the geodetic coordinates turned on and along with the geodetic grid lines you know the the longitude and latitude lines I have those turned on and the reason I have those turned on is because when we start to compress those will come in uh, those will be very useful to help us to uh, to uh, 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 proportionally compress our railroad so well I'll talk about that when I get to it here in a minute by the way if, you, if you're coming into Google Earth and it's coming in at an angle like that and you want to look directly overhead it's called an orthographic view. Just hold down your control button and click your left mouse button and push up, and that'll put you in the orth orthographic uh, view uh, to where you're looking directly overhead. So yeah, in the last video, also if you didn't watch the last video, go to Tools and go to Ruler and go to Path and select Miles here, and we're gonna you get this little box for a mouse cursor. A little, target there and we'll start clicking and as you can see the miles are incrementing up here and so we determined in the last video let me get past the Y there we determined in the last video that uh, you know eight tenths of a mile from from my layout if I compress if I did not compress my railroad at all and uh, uh, 
then I, this is what I would have. I was going to say a one-to-one -one mapping there, and I, I don't want to confuse anybody yet. Uh, I don't want to confuse anybody at all, but I don't want to talk about mapping just yet. But um, yeah, so I could, I could model from here, from point A to point B, and, uh, and I can model everything in between. Okay, so obviously with compressing, we want you know, we want to be able to get more than just that for our model railroad. I mean, well, some of you guys may not. Uh, you know, and in fact, I would probably be in the same camp with you. If I'm going to prototype something, then I want it to be as realistic as I can. And obviously, the greater you compress, uh, you know, reality, what's actually out there, the 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 less you can actually model. And we'll talk about all that probably in the next video because I'm already up to. I'm almost to the 10-minute mark here, uh, but let's think about this for a second. If you know, if we wanted to compress, uh, you know, if we wanted to compress this Nashville and Eastern Railroad in a certain section of it, we wanted to compress it, make it smaller by 50 percent. Then how many miles would we be able to to model? Well, if you, if you think about that, just you can probably do that math in your head. You know, basically you'd be doubling. Uh, you'd be able to double the miles. So, uh, you know, if you can take something and compress it down, you're making it half the size. Well, the reciprocal of that is, you know, making it two times the size. So, you know, we would be able to model 1.6 miles instead of 0.8 miles if we compressed, you know, this railroad uh, by 50%. So let's go ahead and look and see what 1.6 miles looks like. I'll just leave it right there. So that'd be 1.6 miles. So on my layout, if I compressed 50%, uh, then this is what I could. This is what I would be able to model. And so I'm going to leave it right there. I guess the other, only other thing I want to show you guys is just you know you can save these paths. So the next time you open up your Google Earth Pro, you know, you'll have this stuff st stored. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to say that is uh, 1.6 miles. Like that. Okay. And it puts it over here in this panel, in this pane here. And if you want to turn it off, you just uncheck the box. Turn it back on. So, uh, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, we definitely have a couple more coming up that will go over compression further. But uh, like I said, I'm, my goal is to keep these a little bit shorter. Uh, so we'll see you guys in the next video.